two, one. Hey everyone, Steven here again with another video on ChatGPT and how it can help you and your company become more efficient and effective by using its smart analytics and smart AI to help generate ideas and help propel your business forward. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, leave a like and a comment down in the video on how we can improve and other video ideas that we can make about ChatGPT and its utilization within the workplace. Let's go ahead and jump on into our topic today. And our topics so, uh, so far have been really on the up, upscale. It's been exciting to talk about some of the functionalities and the improved capabilities. Now we're gonna talk about the, the not so fun side of it. We're gonna talk about terminations. And let's be transparent. Sometimes people don't work out at an organization that could be due to their own individual actions or it could be due to larger market forces. Uh, addressing employee termination is one of the most challenging and delicate and delicate responsibilities that a manager and employer is gonna encounter. It's a decision that not only impacts the individual being terminated, but also the entire team, and in some cases, the overall health of an organization. As we approach the subject of termination, it's important to remember that the process should always be carried out with the utmost professionalism, respect, and compliance with any company policies or legal re regulations. In our talk, talk today, we're gonna look how ChatGPT can help explain these steps and make it considerate and improve your best practice on how you handle employee terminations, making them effective and compassionate with the ultimate goal of minimizing disruption to the individual and to the organization at large. So getting started with our topic today, we're gonna use another simple command into ChatGPT. All we're gonna do is type in, how do I terminate an employee? This is gonna give us some baseline information on some of the do's and some of the don'ts on how to go about the general guidelines of terminating an employee or a teammate at your organization. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to determine do you actually have grounds for termination? You're gonna ensure that there's a valid reason for termination. Reasons can range from performance issues to misconduct, violations of company policy, or, or even in some cases, business downturn. Uh, you want to make sure everything's documented. This is where I see a lot of managers fall short is they might have great grounds for termination, but they don't have the documentation to back it up. And so before termination, gather documents that support the decision. This might include performance evaluations, warning letters, email, or other types of written records. You're going to want to hold on to these documents going forward in case the question comes up six months or a year down the line and it's asked, why was this person terminated? You're going to be able to refer back to those documents because you're probably not going to remember in 12 or 18 months what happened on a specific day. But if you have it documented and stored away properly, you'll be able to utilize it going forward. You'll want to consult with your HR representative. So before making any type of file, final decision, it's crucial to speak with the human resources department or a legal consultant if your organization's smaller uh, and you use a corporate legal consultant to ensure that you're following the correct procedures and not exposing your organization to any potential legal issues. Sometimes terminations are not always clear, black and white. And so having an independent party, and, and that's where HR can come in handy, our legal department, is they can be that independent sound mind that kind of vets your thought process. You know, we're not always the most objective as we as we make decisions, especially when you're working with people on a day to day basis. And so bringing in a third party to be that objective source for you can really help vet you and also challenge you to make sure that you're making the best decisions for your team and your company at, all, at large, even whenever there's some of the most challenging decisions that you might have to make. And then prepare for the meeting, choose an appropriate time and location. The end of the day or a week is often choose to minimize any type of disruptions. There's the saying, there's the saying that I've heard a lot, which is don't terminate someone on a Friday afternoon. I've seen organizations terminate on Friday afternoons. I've seen terminations happen early in the morning. Uh, the most appropriate thing is to give the person as much dignity. If you have made the decision to terminate someone, you'll want to minimize the disruption, but but also minimize any potential loss of dignity for the person as they exit out of the organization. You want to make it as calm and away from the organization as possible so that you don't have onlookers or anyone getting insight into what's going on. Have at least one other person present, preferably someone from HR as a witness. It's always good not just to be a one-on-one -on -one meeting, but have multiple people in that meeting. And plan what you're going to say beforehand. Be straightforward, brief, and compassionate. Don't be, don't allow the meeting to go on for too long. 
the termination processes that I've been a part of, the most effective ones and the most dignifying ones don't last more than five or 10 minutes. They're a quick conversation. It's brief. It is straightforward. And let's be honest, if we're doing everything from number two and documenting everything, we've already had those conversations with the teammate. As short of something like a business downturn where we might be having the conversation on how the business is performing and we're having to cut back positions. If it's due to performance, then we should have already had those. So nothing within that meeting should be brand new to the employee. It should all be something that they've heard before. Whether or not they agree with it, it should be something that they've heard of before. Conducting the determinations to start the meeting with the purpose of the meeting immediately. We don't want to beat around the bush. We want to just be as direct as possible, explain the reason for the termination without giving too much details or being overly defensive. You don't want to just say we're leaving, you're you're gone, bye, and not give them any reason. And you don't want to continue to talk for half an hour explaining your thought process and every step along the way. You want to make it brief. You want to get them out of the out of the out of the room and away from the organization as quickly as possible. Yeah, listen and remain calm. The employee becomes upset and angry. You know, you want to listen to them, but you don't want to let the conversation get out of control. You have to be able to control that conversation during those meetings and explain the next step, whether that be if they're eligible for the company benefits, if they remain eligible through the end of the month, if they're vested in any of their uh, any of their any of their benefits as well. What is that going to look like for them? If they have uniforms or assets that they need to return back to the company. What is that process you want to explain in very detail and even give them something in writing that shows here's what the next steps are going to look like. Provide support, office support for outplacement services or counseling. I've seen a lot of companies that anytime they do a termination, they'll provide something like an EAP program offer where you can go and get some free counseling support for, 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 uh, for after terminations. Communication with the team after you terminate, you may need to inform the remaining team members. Avoid sharing overly specific or personal details about the termination. Instead, focus on how the team's going to move forward. You don't want to leave your remaining team in the dark. You want to explain to them what's going on with as much as you can, but you don't want to get into too much details. And handling handle post termination details to so ensure the terminated employee returns all company property. Revoke access. That's something that you're going to make sure happens. And then ensure that their final paycheck and benefits. You want to make sure that anything that's owed to them is given to them in as quickly of a manner as you possibly can. Always remember, stay away from the gossiping. If you hear about any of the gossiping or any of the rumor mill going on or why a termination happens, you'll want to be able to end it as quickly as possible and be prepared for possible repercussions. Anytime you're separating uh, someone from an organization and it's not willful on both sides, there is a possible for repercussions. That's why we always want to make sure we document as much of the information beforehand. And we're using independent third parties like an HR department or a legal counsel to vet our decisions. Even through some of those, additional repercussions can happen to the legal process. And so that's why it's really crucial that you do your homework ahead of time in order to prepare yourself for, for that meeting and that potential outcome. And just remember that determinations sometimes are necessary and sometimes, um, and you know, most of the time, they're not going to be a fun process. And so being as professional, as dignifying as you possibly can is going to help strive you to become a better leader and a better manager. Remember that law, the laws regarding employment termination vary based on location and circumstances. Laws in South Carolina are going to be very different than laws in California or laws in different countries. And so you're going to want to make sure that you've spoken with legal counsel or your HR department in those areas to make sure that you're following all applicable laws. And it's crucial to consult, like I said, with an HR legal counsel. Uh, to making sure that you're you're following all laws. Additionally, treat all your employees with respect and empathy, even the difficult situations like these. Uh, it's essential for maintaining a positive workplace culture. Even when you're exiting someone out of an organization, it's possible to do it in a dignifying way that continues to drive your company forward and puts them on the best, best path forward after leaving your organization to find success in future endeavors. So while this hasn't really been a fun topic for us to talk about, it's employee terminations, I really do appreciate y'all taking the time to listen to this and seeing how ChatGPT can help you understand and become more efficient and, and dignifying and effective at facilitating a termination for one of your employees. Make sure you subscribe and like the video down below and leave a comment on what other areas that you want to see us talk about with ChatGPT. Thanks again. Bye.